All right, where's Gloria? Where the hell is she? Yeah, she's probably by the beach. Oh, there she is. I see her head. Gloria, is that you? There she is. Hey, hon. Sexy mama. Yeah, it's been a few weeks. We've been busy. There's been ups. There's been downs. But let's go inside and let me show you what's going on. So this is how it is these days. This is uh, how we live. A lot of things have been unpacked, but we still can't put them away because the kitchen's actually not finished yet. <laughs> Beautiful. It was a heavy load to get that up the stairs. Now for the perfect fit. Wow. Wow is right. Coming together. Here's my KitchenAid range. And look, my Blanco sink, my full granite sink. So, and then the refrigerator. very lucky. Mostly it was just trees and fences down. This was at my parents' house. And our little condo fared very well. Since we faced the west, we were pretty sheltered and we lived to see another day. Here we are post Irma. No worse for wear. Thank God we were blessed and our prayers and thoughts go out to all the victims of all the hurricanes, earthquakes, and all these disasters that seem to be befalling us lately. Anyway, onward and upward. Still got the trees, they're a little worse for wear, and we were without power for five days. The surge when the power came back on blew out our ref brand new refrigerator, and it wasn't cool anymore. So Flamingo Appliance Service is the authorized repair service for KitchenAid. They were out right away and this guy Efren was top-notch he took care of the problem and now we're back up and running so that's really the only thing so lesson learned from that is when you're going through a hurricane and you're likely to lose power even if you don't lose power you might have power surges through the worst of it flip the breaker for the air conditioning the refrigerator even maybe your TV any big appliance that you don't want to get compromised Hey Joe, hey. did you enjoy the hurricane? <laughs> so now that we're up and running, cabinet installation is tomorrow, yay! So here's a little preview. We are gonna be doing the caramelized bamboo, which I think I mentioned before, with the matte black hardware from Top Knobs. It's about six or seven inches long, and I think it's gonna be really nice. What do you think, Joe? It looks awesome. Yeah? yeah? Another thing that we've gotten done since I saw you last is some window treatments. We made a trip to Ikea and I saw these panels and fell in love with them. They were very affordable and I don't know if they're a permanent solution, but I like that they are different. They're kind of funky, still neutral, and they're, they were pretty easy to, um, to install. Yeah, Joe actually installed the window treatments for us. Um, was it easy? Was it hard? What's your take on it? It was a million little pieces, and I needed to read the instructions. Uh-oh. <laughs> like most men, we just like to throw the instructions out. But once I read them and 
took my time. It did take a couple of hours because of all the cutting of the material and stuff. But yeah, I think it was worth it. It wasn't really expensive. And, uh, it looks good, I think. Anyway. Yeah, I like them too. We also had this little window in the kitchen to cover. And luckily, it happened to be a standard size, so we were able to find this cool roll-up shade also at Ikea, and I think it's gonna match the cabinets perfectly. One thing that we did splurge on a little bit was the window treatments for the bedroom. Joe wanted something on the windows because he sleeps during the day and works during the night, but I don't really like the whole blackout cave-like type scenario. So these were our solution. They're called zebra shades. They're a type of rolling shades. They're a, a very contemporary design. Notice that the top is real simple. There's no, uh, I think it's called pelmet or anything at the top. And you can adjust them. So they work like this. Roll them down. They go all the way down. And if you want total concealment, you can arrange it like that. If you want a little bit of light, we do that. So I love the color we picked. It's a neutral color. It's got a little bit of gray in it. Kind of picks up the carpet and uh, kind of sandy tones that, that I wanted. Bonus sneak peek at one room that we've pretty much finished up with. Uh, it includes this um, couch that's kind of it doesn't pull out, it folds down, the back goes down into uh, a sleeper sofa and Jake has already enjoyed that on his leave from the Marines and we found a place to hang one of Joe's guitars and we've even hung the first piece of artwork. Anyway that's it for this episode, sorry for the delay and next time I'm going to be very excited to show you the completed kitchen, the completed bathroom, and hopefully a little bit more. Bye!